What we do here is go back, 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 back. Let me tell you a story about a little gun that came into our family years ago. In fact, some of you remember one of our first um, videos. One of my first videos um, was for this car, P380. Now back then, the car had, uh, didn't have very many of the CW series. Some of you know that the car had a a PM and, and P series guns that uh, they have K series guns, but anyway, without getting into a whole bunch of details, they had kind of their more expensive line, and then they actually began to produce a well-made but but less expensive to produce things like the polygonal rifling had gone away, and some of those things that cost them more money, uh, they began to come out and and kind of almost undercut their own offering. So they competed with themselves in some ways. But I think that it was, there were decisions that they had to make to to compete with uh, a market that was beginning to have you know more single stack polymer variants out there that uh, were um, popular and useful. And uh, so anyway, let's go back to the story. So my wife had a P9 back then. So she had a P9, which is a single stack polymer um, for, for a car closer to a full-size gun, but it is uh, very small and it is very thin. And yet, though my wife really liked carrying it, she especially likes the long double action only kind of revolver like trigger pull. I don't know why, but that's something that she really likes. I guess it's what one of the things that she learned on. And so the fact that this trigger feels like a revolver, it's nice and smooth. She really likes that. So she had a P9 and um, she had a carry permit, but I would talk to her often and she wouldn't have her gun on. And so years ago I said, hey babe, why don't you, um, why don't you go buy a gun um, that isn't a gun that I've bought for you, uh, but is a gun that you've purchased for yourself that answers this question of, I feel like I can have that gun on me anytime. I feel like I can have this gun with me anytime because you know I just I wanted her to have a carry gun on her all the time and I was willing to make whatever um, whatever uh, concessions I needed to make to uh, see that happen so I just didn't want to hear uh, and I wasn't forceful I was just you know just asking hey you know I love you I would like you know, you've, you've trained hard to be able to shoot accurately um, and and well, and you have a good head on your shoulders, and I can't make this decision for you, but I think you've made the decision that you would like to carry, and you have a carry permit, and you are uh, effective with your gun. What would it take for you to have that gun on you, like, all the time? And so she, you know, she took the uh, the debit card and we went out and she spent some time doing some research online and looking at guns and and she ended up circling back at that time um, to the same car line she had a p9 and it made sense she was like hey look this is like the gun that i am most used to and uh, it is small enough that i think i will carry it all the time and so we purchased this gun now that being said, that means that this gun has been in our house for several years. And I want to fill you in on the pros and cons of it. Uh, the pros are it has like real sights and it is well made. It, for, for these tiny pocket guns, you know that a lot of them that are out there, they're just, they're, you, you can pick them up and tell kind of quickly that they're kind of cheaply made. This is not that way. It is a well-made little gun. Um, that being said, the tolerances are tight and it's pretty amazingly accurate for such a little gun. Um, but 
uh, and the metal components are great. It's tiny. I mean, it disappears. It is easy, easy, easy to carry. It's a quintessential pocket gun. Um, but uh, the, toler the tolerances are tight and uh, it has a tendency. In fact, car's manual will tell you to drop the slide with the slide release. And the reason why they're telling you to do that is they want, um, they want to be very sure that the gun goes as, it has as much force as possible going into battery because they realize, I think, that this gun has a tendency to, to fall out, to be out of battery, to, to have that kind of situation where you would need to slap the back of it to, to go into battery and to be able to fire the weapon. And so this gun is, uh, is reliable, we've proven it to be so, uh, but with a caveat, and that caveat is that it needs all of its force, all of its flyweight, everything possible to every single function to go into place and to chamber around and to go bang the next time. Which means, some of you guys have already accelerated to this, which means that this is not a good gun for newbies um, or people with limited hand strength. Yes, I know, almost never are little tiny guns good guns for newbies. But we also know that a lot of times um, new shooters are attracted to small guns for the same reasons I've just outlined above. For the oh, I can carry that and I can conceal that and it doesn't seem like it's going to change my lifestyle or the way that I dress very much. And, and I don't just mean female shooters, I mean new shooters. Um, th th those are some really attractive things. So thinking about how much is this going to, this carrying a gun thing is going to infringe upon my comfort level, my everyday life. And that's a valid internal dialogue. You know, that's, that's something that people are actually going through in their head. So uh, that being said, this gun needs a very secure grip and pressure, like you need, you need your wrist to be straight and the gun to be held firmly for the slide to have every bit of opportunity to go back into battery. If you uh, loosely hold this gun and let the recoil, like absorb some of the recoil yourself uh, in your arm or do what people call limp wristing, this gun is going to be far more prone than others to fail to go into battery. Um, and so I'm just, just kind of giving you the pros and cons. We found this to be a well-made, a really concealable little gun. It's it's really a cool gun. I like it. My wife continues to like it, but you have to have the presence of mind when you're shooting it to make sure that it has um, a secure grip on it so that it can continue to function reliably. It is prone to um, uh, failure if uh, even even slightly limp wristed. Okay, now. That being said, I'm excited to kind of tell you that we've been using the um, mag kits from Mag Guts for my wife moved. I should I should tell you that she moved years ago from the or when they came out with it from the P9 to the Glock 42 as her primary. And uh, I know she went from nine millimeter to 380, but she really likes the shooting characteristics of the Glock 42 and I really like the gun as well. And, and so what she ends up doing is carrying the Glock 42 for most of the time and only using this gun when, um, when uh, she, she, she wouldn't be carrying any gun at all if, uh, if it wasn't so small. So this is kind of her uh, worst case scenario. Man, I, I wanna carry a gun, but I can't quite even conceal my little Glock 42. Um, she goes to this and so it makes sense for her to have 380 both ways she really likes that Glock 42 she also has a Glock 19 
um, and she shoots that, but she just doesn't carry it that often. Um, and those are her decisions. Um, so anyway, uh, so we've been using in the car P380, Glock 42, the Shield 9mm. Uh, we've been using these kits from um, Magguts that uh, expand the, the number of rounds that the standard configured magazines hold, which is really cool. And I was really concerned about reliability, but so far they've proven, uh, the kit has proven to be just as reliable as the stock magazine from Car. So I uh, continue to test that. So far, so good. Really cool to add a round, add a couple rounds with depending on which kit you're using per which gun. Um, and just, just a cool opportunity. So check out the kits from MagGuts. And there's your update on the Car P380. As always, this is Rev saying, don't waste your life. Y'all have a good one. Oh, she's a